Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to worldmarket.com. Natalie Rice from here and on the line is Stuart from tipsterhq.com. Link is in the description if you want to go and check out uh, Stuart's site and services there. Um, we are talking best value bets across World Cup qualifiers uh, taking place uh, next week. It's from Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Um, there is a lot of matches, a lot with strong favorites, a lot with very little value, but uh, we've managed to pull out uh, a few bets that I think is definitely worth the look at. Stuart, how many have you got? Um, well, I think you pulled out more than me. I have to say that. 44 World Cup qualifiers. Mm -hmm. I managed to find two. Wow. So yeah, uh, not much value in uh, in your eyes across, no, uh, I think the, across the first got, round. I think the pretty tight. Bookie's done very well on this one, I think. All right. Well, I've I've had to research every single match, so I do have a little. I do have a little. Uh, on my brain, I'm going a little bit like this now because literally I've, every single match. Um, I've found seven that I definitely think is worth looking at, worth exploring. Um, so obviously we're a little bit outnumbered here. So I'll start with. Oh, actually, let you start with yours. What have you got? Uh, you want me to go with my first one? I think my strongest bet. I have to say Switzerland against Portugal. Yeah. Um, Switzerland, a solid side, but they lack a bit of flair. And you've got Portugal, who are currently European champions somehow. I don't know how that happened. Um, but match odds on this one, match odds bet. Portugal, can you believe this, are 3.13 to win. Yeah, I know, it's I crazy. I think that's a fantastic set of odds for that. Yeah, I completely agree with you. That is one of my bets, although I'm covering myself a little bit on that one. And uh, Portugal draw no bet, 2.2 bet, Victor. But yeah, very surprised to see uh, Portugal as the other odds. Obviously, they are on the road. Uh, but, you know, Euro 2016 champions right now um, coming, you know, against a team who, you know, just made out of the round, of, who made it to the round of 16, sorry. Uh, so totally behind you on that one. Safer option, like I said, play the, play the, play the draw no bet or something like that. Like that all right second tip second tip cyprus against belgium um i'm going into the double odd, double chance market here mm -hmm. and uh i'm going for a little bit of an unusual one i have to say i think cyprus is going to pull off a shock whether that means a win or a draw i don't know i don't really care because either of those will be covered by me so I'm double chance so one x 3.5 about 3.65 all right, so Cyprus versus Belgium. I'm, I'm uh, one a match. Actually, I'm surprised you didn't take. This is my favourite one, and um, I have to say the odds have dropped since yesterday. I previewed this uh, with Bernardo from the Al Tips. Israel versus Italy. Uh, they were currently 1.75. Uh, William Hill. They've now dropped to 1.7. Um, obviously, it's, they, they won Group E um, in Euro 2016. Israel are in poor form. They haven't won a match in five. Yes, Italy have got a new manager, but I definitely think that they can still get the job done. And I think even 1.7 is a fantastic bet. What, do you not like that one? It's not so much about not liking it. It's the fact that Italy have got a bit of an ageing side and uh, they've got a new coach in charge who is not as good as Antonio Conte. Jim Piero Ventura is a good, good coach but not as good. And I think, the, you know, first first game of a new real regime, I think it, this one might be a bit of a risk. So I, I avoided that one. Really? That's my favourite, favourite one. OK, next I've got Denmark versus Armenia Group E. Uh, Denmark, again, uh, very big favourites here. Obviously, it is at Denmark, uh, 1.45. Um, but I actually think it, that uh, Armenia have actually been underrated in this match, they're coming off a fr fresh off a 4-0 um, El Salvador uh, victory. Uh, they also uh, had an impressive win um, against Guatemala in May, and that was 7-1. That was their highest record. I think they'll be very fueled coming into this match. Um, I, Denmark's last match was back in March, and they lost to Scotland 1-0. I think it's going to be closer uh, than the bookies, than the, than the odds suggest. And I'm looking at playing Armenia plus uh, 1.5, and I've got that 1.65 bet, Victor. I also like Armenia and the Raw 3.2 also with bet 365. I think the value is Armenia in that match. Um, I think in that one, if I was going to be pushed to go for anything, I'd probably go for Denmark minus one, which you can <laughs> pick up for around 1.7. So, uh, both of those, well, it could be okay. <laughs> All right, like I said, guys, do your research first, take mine with a pinch of salt, and uh. And expand on it. Next, Czech Republic versus Northern Ireland. That's Group C. Uh, Northern Ireland came third in Group C in Euro 2016, whilst Czech Republic came last in Group D. Uh, they only managed one point from a draw. Uh, yes, it's a Czech Republic, but very surprised to see Czech Republic as favourites. 1.75 Labrooks, Northern Ireland 5.4. 
I like Northern Ireland plus one, 1.58, or Northern Ireland and the draw. I think again, I think Northern Ireland's going to pull the upset on this one, 2.15 bet365. Well, I won't argue on that one, but um, I, I'm not sure I'd be backing it myself. I, I can see your reasoning, but it, it's, a, it's a match that worries <laughs> make me. I make a good argument say. here, Stuart. I you make, make a, a good, good argument, yeah. but it worries me. <laughs> All right. Norway versus Germany uh, is another one that I've got. I just I, I love Germany. Uh, obviously, they lost uh, in the semifinals to runners-up France. Uh, they are actually the favourites to win the World Cup here. Uh, Norway lost to Hungary in their playoffs. Uh, Germany 1.5, I think uh, that's a good, that's a good, you know, that's right. Uh, I like to do the Germany win and the over 1.5 goals, 1.73. Love that bet a lot. Yeah, I think that one's actually probably your best bet of the lot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like the Italy one, though, I have to say. And I was actually with you as well on the Portugal bet. So uh, that was also a good one. Uh, next one I've got is uh, Wales versus Moldova. I think Wales had a very successful Euro 2016 innings. Um, they obviously lost to win a winner's Portugal 2-0. Uh, that, uh, that, that, was, that was pretty bad. I think I had a bet on that, both teams to score or something like that. But I'm actually taking Wales minus 1.5. Uh, against Moldova, I think that's a reasonable one. And I it's think at Wales on. as well, so know, they're on their home Wales. turf. Yeah, yeah. Go on the boyos, I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know, Wales coming off Euro 2016. Uh, uh, they'll be uh, fired up, Stuart, fired up. However, Robson Carnu still hasn't got a club, so he may not be playing this one. Um, so that there's what, Sam Vokes up front, maybe. I, I, it's tough, I think. Um, it's one to avoid for me. Okay, all right. You're a hard man to convince here, Stuart. I've got one more bet. Let's see if I can convince you. Um, <laughs> it is Serbia versus Republic of Ireland's Group D. Serbia are the favourites, 2.1, Ireland 4.33. Personally, I think we could see the upset. I think it's going to be very close. It could even be a draw. Um, obviously, Republic of Ireland qualified in Group E. Uh, they came third. Um, they, lost to France at Fra they lost to France in the round of 16. Uh, Serbia failed to qualify. I think this is going to be. Um, I, I, I was well. I was looking at the. Um, I was looking at the, yeah, looking at the upset, but I'm going to play Republic of Ireland double chance. One point eight five bet three six five. Serbia have some good players. You've got to be careful of that. And Republic of Ireland, uh, their their captain is retiring, I believe, after this game. So there'll, there'll be some emotion in there and games of emotion are generally ones that I avoid when it comes to betting. Ah, OK. What about both teams to score in that bet as well? That was something else I was looking at, 2.2, bet 3.65. Yeah, that probably is the better bet out of that, I have to say. <laughs> all right. I'm feeling a bit nervous now with all of my bets. I'm going to go back to the drawing Sorry. board. But, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to keep a tally of them anyway and see uh, which ones come in, which ones don't. Um, also yours. But listen, thank you so much for coming and sharing your bets. And uh, uh, I'll see you next week.